you start the day with, is crowdsourcing going to change our lives? And, uh, well, we certainly believe that it, uh, that it will do. We think that crowdsourcing will substantially change how people are going to work and earn money in the future. That's what I'm going to talk about, because in case you miss it, there's quite a revolution going on. You see entire industries being disrupted by a new type of organization. And most organizations, they are caught in an outdated management model. You see a new type of organization ri rising, which we call the platform organization. And in fact, six out of the top ten brands worldwide, they are platform-based business models. So the platform is the way to go for the future. And we think that in the future, people will earn money not in an office or in a factory, but by being active on the platform. If you talk about labor, how people work, you see already that every day millions of people, they create tremendous productive value on collaboration platforms. We all know Wikipedia. Uh, I'm sure uh, some of you know the big question and answer platforms, Stack Overflow or Quora. And sure, many of you have been active on a forum or a question, question and answer website. And for the more technical people, uh, you have GitHub, major platform where there's collaborative software development. Uh, making software with, uh, with other people who are connected to the platform. And you see this way of working also moving into other areas of, uh, of collaboration. So why are platforms so productive? I always use the analogy between the road traffic and the air traffic. Traditional organizations, they are much more like the air traffic. Yeah? When you, uh, at the beginning of the day, everybody knows at what time the, the plane goes and we're all dependent on a central line of communication, the, the tower of command, right? So, but when you left maybe by car this morning your house, nobody, you had to ask nobody for permission, you just went on the road, right? So the road traffic is like an infrastructure, like a platform, which everybody can use. And there's no central line of communication. Everybody communicates with each other in a complex networked kind of way. So that's why road transport can be much more uh, productive. It has much more processing capacity. Yeah. Platforms, they don't <coughs> need the central command, which is a hub. And platforms, they don't need to make big investments in uh, resources, they crowdsource it. Which not only means that it's much more cheaper, but also much more agile, because it's much more uh, easy to link the right resource to the right cause that it needs. And what you see on platforms is self-organization. One of the previous speakers already mentioned the Apple Store. I always uh, use it as an example. In the App Store, the amount of innovation that you have seen in the past years, quantitatively and qualitatively, could never have been planned. You could have, even if you would have hired the 100 best innovators in the world, you couldn't have planned it. It just happened. And that's what we call self-organization, which can arise in platforms and not in traditional industrial organizations. So the platform is the way to go for the future. It's very interesting for businesses because if you need work done, you have with platforms, you have 24 seven access to labor. Okay, without the hassle of having labor. If you are a professional, if you, if you work, it's very nice because it means that you can work anytime, anywhere and for anyone you like. <laughs> And for the platform itself, it's really nice because you have tremendous productivity that you can facilitate without having to do the major investments. So crowdsourcing and uh, platform labor is what everybody should want. And then the big question arises, everybody's already doing it, the tools are already there, the proof is there that it's very useful way, very effective way of organizing, you can get work done better, cheaper, and uh, quicker in this way, but still it fails to reach the mainstream organization sector. So why would you not, for example, uh, crowdsource your software development on GitHub as a company, right? Why would you not crowdsource your customer service desk? All the, desk, all the tools are there, so there is infrastructure for that. There are tools, there are people who want to do it, who can do it. Or if you think maybe, oh, this is something for the internet, why not crowdsource your lo logistics? You see now that Uber has uh, opened their API to the public, right? You see all kind of these collaborative logistics platforms uh, coming up. Why not as a company do that? Why hire and invest in all these resources? 
And this is, I think, probably the coolest company in the world, Local Motors, who crowdsources their entire value chain from A to Z for a big part. Okay, so this is something that can be done not only for software, but for all kinds of processes. But what you see is that if you have the crowd working for you, you need to be able to reward them. Because in some instances you can get people to do something for you for free, but when it's become professional, yeah, you have to be able to let the people get something out of it, like you say. Yeah, and if you do that, then you have to, if the people collaborate in, that, uh, collaborate in that way, on a platform, everybody has a different type of contribution and different value of contribution. So how are you going to distribute money? Until today, that was impossible. Okay, so that is probably a big hurdle why social collaboration, crowdsourcing has not been implemented in mainstream organizational processes yet. And I say and I stress until today because, of course, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have a big announcement uh, to make today. So we were in uh, Singapore in April. We just went live with Mobber with our prototype. And uh, we kind of spontaneously got on stage there. It was very nice. But then we, when we came back, we realized, OK, our concept worked, but we need to make it more easy for people to use. Okay. And today is a very special day because today we launched our new website. We've worked very hard and taken in all the feedback. Thanks for the community for that as well. And today we are launching the new mobile. The office was the workplace of the 20th century. But in the internet era, the office is replaced with online platforms where work is done by individuals who work where, when, and for whoever they want. Businesses can now tap into the collective wisdom and workforce of these platforms and outsource tasks to deliver results better, quicker, and cheaper than ever before. This so-called crowdsourcing can be a major source of income if you run a website with an active community. But enabling companies to crowdsource their work from an online audience requires the right set of tools. With Mobber, businesses, individuals, and website owners finally have the tools to use crowdsourcing and can instantly start earning or paying for online tasks. It's simple. On the Mobber website, those who have a task can find a suitable platform, pledge money for its completion, and invite people to work on the task together. Individuals can use Mobber to find tasks that match their expertise and interests, ranging from software development to market research and from brainstorms to creating digital content. And to host a task, just add your website to the Mobber community and embed our payment tool. The money can now be distributed fairly among you and the contributors on your platform with a single click. Are you ready to join the new economy and to pay or get paid for tasks anywhere on the web? Get started at Mobber.com. So what this does, it makes possible for people to uh, facilitate work on a global scale. It means that whether you're in Europe or in India or in Kenya, if you have internet and a computer, you have access to labor, to the labor market. Okay, so this is our dream. And to let you know, we are, as far as it is clear, we're a bank. We run on a banking license and the core of what we do is a payment system. We run all the big currencies, but of course we also facilitate Bitcoin. We would prefer to do only Bitcoin, uh, but uh, not everybody's there yet. Um, we're the only first and only payment system in the world that has this functionality. With one click, you can distribute money to many contributors. So specifically designed to facilitate collaboration online. Not just marketplaces, but actual processes taking part online, people collaborating. And in addition to that, uh, into that core, let's say, financial uh, functionality. You can come to our uh, website, find a suitable platform for your task, or you can find a task that matches your interests and expertise, or as a platform, you can promote your platform. So we like to bring it all together on our uh, website. So very concretely, we have three actors. You have work to do, you want to outsource work, you want to work, or you facilitate work. If you have work to do, you can come to us, find a platform, create a task, you, you uh, put money on it, you pledge money on it, and then you invite people to work. Okay? The workers, they can just browse tasks, find the task, check out what it is, 
then go to that website where that task is, because the, task, the work itself is not on our website, and then when the payment is done, you receive money in your mobile bank account. Yeah, if, you have a, if you host tasks, this is an opportunity to get money flowing through your platform. So if you're a crowdsourcing platform, you have to really uh, consider this. If you facilitate crowdsourcing work, you have some kind of reputation system so you can measure what is each individual's contribution. Link your website to us, it's a very simple script, uh, and, and define how you're going to use it to distribute the money if there's a payment. A very concrete example, this is GitHub, it's a little bit for the nerds, but what you will see is the GitHub way of working, open source style of working, is going into, to, into very many different other processes. You create an issue, so a task on GitHub, then you drop the URL, in a box on a mobile website, then this appears, an analysis of that URL. Okay, we see where is the task, is there a distribution key that we can read, and then you're invited to make a payment or a pledge. You can pledge money, then you can invite workers. If you're a worker, you can come to the website and just use tags that match your interests to browse tasks. If you see an interesting task, you click on it, you go to the task, you say, okay, I want to work on it, uh, you go to that website, you work, when it triggers, you receive money. Okay, what do we do at the moment that it triggers? We read the contribu uh, contribution st uh, statistics from the GitHub database. So any crowdsourcing platform that has a database with contributor statistics, we can use it as a way of distributing, uh, as a basis for distributing the money. So that's what we do. Okay, now what you see this GitHub way of working is going into other areas. You see here a lot of platforms that we could, some we already support, some we would like to support, but we just are uh, not there yet. But we were talking about big data. You have here the GitHub for big data analysis, the GitHub for science, the GitHub for uh, documents like Penflip, the GitHub for physical things, for the maker movement, knowable. You see, there are already many tools, the tools are there. What you need to do now as a business is think, hey, if I have some work done, how can I organize it in a platform way? Because it's much more effective. It's much more cheap and it's much more agile. If you're a worker, you should come to us um, and, and see what, what, what kind of work you can do because that's what we do. We make online work happen. That's what we do. Thank you very much.